are a corps of military veterans performing hands-on community service with a mission deployment attitude. We have three main programs. Operation Coming Home provides homes for troops that were injured in combat operations. Our Rescue Rug program provides food for U.S. military and families in need. And Toys for Little Troops provides toys to the children of low income and deployed. If you would like to find out more about how you can help our veteran families in need, contact us at myusvc.com. Before becoming a successful motivational speaker and author, Staff Sergeant Tim Payne was a paratrooper facing a challenging transition to civilian life. But a surprise gift from a veterans organization gave him the foundation he needed to share his story and inspire others. I joined the military right after 9-11. Um, I graduated high school August 2001. Early next month, bam, 9-11 happened. I had a plan to go to school. I wanted to write stories and make movies, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go fight for our country instead. And I signed my contract and left for infantry school. We deployed immediately to Iraq because the unit was already there doing combat operations from the initial invasion. And uh, that was my first combat tour. So um, I was there from September 2003 to February 2004. I got orders to a place called the Devil's Playground in Kandahar, Afghanistan. We were going in and expected to lose 40% of our men. So it was like a huge reality check. And I was a squad leader, and I was in charge of around 20 guys. So the Taliban were attacking our base, and I'm on the wall, and I'm just machine gunning these Taliban guys down. I had a supernatural encounter um, with, with God while I was there, and uh, he was telling me that if I live by the sword, I die by the sword. So I was like, this is weird. I was like, I never believed in God or anything like this. Is this God or something? And he's like, yes. I was like, don't kill my guys. I was like, I know we're gonna go into a heavy fight. If you can take anybody, just take me and not my men. The next day, uh, my platoon sergeant, he's like, we gotta go out there and blow up that position. And since you don't lose any soldiers, you're gonna go, it's the last patrol. We go out there, as soon as I'm out there, I get blown up. It was a brutal experience. Uh, I could see right through my arm. I had like a major surgery and it was, it was a long recovery process. I've had a fight through medication addiction. I was suicidal uh, from experiencing all these things that I went through. I was married at the time and my relationship with my wife kind of completely deteriorated. I ended up getting divorced. And when all that stuff happened, that's when Operation Coming Home, uh, the U.S. Veterans Corps, and the Home Builders Association of Raleigh kind of like came in. This house has been such a blessing. I've gone through a traumatic event, and I had to learn to heal, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without the support of the community and uh, these other nonprofit organizations that really came in to really help me. Operation Coming Home in the very beginning, we thought it was just the house. It's actually, it's different. It's a help, and a lot of times it's been the first domino to go over that has helped them for the other things they've done in their life. If you watch someone like Tim Payne, you will see the things that he did from the time that he entered this house to what he's done for his own organizations, to sports, to you name it. That's remarkable. seven core army values, principles that I live by in the military for my soldiers, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, personal courage. It's pretty uh, inspiring to go and share these lessons, uh, but I also talk about God and a lot of people don't really want to hear that stuff, but I just kind of have to cover all basis points because when I first got injured, the doctors were like, hey, look, if you really want to heal, it's the mind, it's the body, and it's the spirit. Those like three things that all kind of work together to really push uh, someone forward. gain through the healing process, it's like an obligation for me to get out there and to help inspire others, get through the same process, and I want to get out there and try to kind of like be like a beacon of light to kind of show them that they, hey, you can get through this and stay motivated because there are people out there that care a lot.
award-winning television job fair for American veterans. 